Hi, uh, this video is about array functions in a lab view. So here you are looking at the front panel and uh, this is the block diagram here. If you right click on this one um, and then if you click on the array here, you will see the function available uh, and uh, there are total twenty around 25 of them. Uh, this video will cover the first top five one. Those are like array size, index array, replace array subset, insert into array and delete from array. Uh, I am going to make another video to cover the remaining functions. Okay. Uh, now if you go back at the front panel, uh, those five functions they are uh, put in the they are in different five different tabs here. Okay. And um, if you look at it, uh, the array they are all same. So here uh, five rows and f uh, four columns. Okay. And same uh, and elements are one to uh, 1 to 20 here uh, same array is using all five functions here okay and uh, I have um, put this uh, vertical bar here to separate the input and output okay so let's start with the first one uh, this is the input to the function this is the output of a function okay and I'm going to run in the continuous mode first uh, uh, this one is pretty simple it takes as a array as an input in a block diagram and giving us the output of in the size okay so here there are like uh, five rows that shows here and four columns that shows here now if I stop this one if I right click on the last row I want to delete that one so I go data operation um, delete row okay so now that row is gone now I run again and now it's showing me four so that means four four rows and four columns okay so that's a simple one. Now if we go back here, uh, array size. So this function it is taking array as the input and giving me the output. Okay, so that's uh, pretty straightforward. Now let's go in the index array. So it is taking array as the input, uh, row index and column index, and it's giving me the output here. Okay, so here uh, row third, see so the count tick is zero base. So row third is means 0, 1, 2 and 3 and again column is 0, 1, 2 and 3. Okay, so it is giving me the 19 element out. Now let's see if I want to get this 9 as output. So that will be my row will be uh, 0, 1, 2 and 3 and column will be 1. Okay, so if I just reduce 2, I am getting 9. Okay, now if you look at the block diagram here, uh, index array, it is taking it as input row and column index taking all three input and giving me the output okay so that's what we are seeing here now replace array subset uh, here it is taking four input array as a whole row index column index and the new element that we want to replace okay so let's say if I make zero 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 if I make zero 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 it is changing here thousand now let's say if I want to change 8 to 1000 so that will be my row will be 0 1 and 2 second row and first column okay so second row and first column and you can see here is now 1000 okay so it is basically replacing your uh, data element with the new element okay and now if we look at the block diagram here uh, replace it is taking four input array whole uh, index index column and new element okay and it's giving me the output okay so that's what going on in the third function now insert into array okay so let me make it a minus one so right now uh, what you are looking at is same um, input same array output okay and now I want to insert uh, let's say um, one one element at the first two here okay and everything will shift down okay so in that case if I make this index as a zero then everything uh, will go down I will see new two element here and uh, since I have only two other will be filled by default as a zero okay so if I make uh, increase to zero as you can see here I added whole new uh, row here now let's say I want to enter at uh, somewhere in the middle okay so let's say uh, before two here I mean after two before three in that case I can enter here okay so after two 
before 3 and there is that index number 2 ok so that was you are inserting whole new row into array now if you look at the block diagram here uh, it is taking 3 input complete array index row and new element that you want to insert ok and then it gives you the output ok and this is the fifth function in this case um, uh, I am deleting the whole column here so let's say I uh, right now I don't want to delete anything uh, and uh, I make zero as well ok now let's say I want to get rid of all this column here so it is as an index zero ok and my length will be one ok so now as you can see here it get rid of this six uh, the first whole column one two three four five and it tells here deleted portion and the array uh, that's remain after deletion of that particular column ok so now let's say I want to delete uh, first two here in that case I will increase my length here to two ok and now it get rid of the two column and uh, that's my deleted portion and this is the remaining one now if you look at the block diagram here uh, delete from array it is taking uh, array the length and column here as you can see here uh, you can also instead of column you can connect to the row and then it will get uh, the row uh, so you can either delete complete row or complete column ok but you cannot do both at the same time ok so that's are the uh, five functions they are uh, used on the array ok um, hopefully you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching ok bye